Hello, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. Hello, Engine 10. It's awesome to see you. Hello, Finding Kino. Uh, today, we are. I'm going to just move the camera. It'll just take a second here, folks. Hey, everybody. Good oh, lord, GG. If anybody knows the Canadian thing from Bob Doug McKenzie, it's... Hey, Engine 10 and Kim and Emily, Northern Sounds, Tony and Katie. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I don't know, even know why I did that. It just kind of popped into my head. Love a girl's in here, shift kicker. Good to see all you guys. Hang on, guys. I'm fighting with the camera. We're getting dizzy. Oh! It's all good. Take your time. I've fallen and I can't get up. Kiss off. Good to see you. Cool gamer. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. I Wild took the wheel. glass out of a picture frame. I went on Google and I found a picture. I taped it to the back of the frame. And I'm going to paint the picture onto the glass. So my brain out of part there for a second. Hello, cool gamer. Hello, Wild Bless. Hello, everyone. I don't know if you want to put yourself full screen while you're doing she this. Does. Yes, she I should. can do that. Hang on. Finding Kino is here. Look it Dorinda. up. Finding Kino is here. Hi, hey, everybody. Kino. There we go. Good to see everybody. Love you all. Okay. Everybody. So, there we go. Good to see everybody. Love you all. Little, a little paintbrush. Whoa. I'm just going to start painting in the center everybody. and work my way around. Okay. I guess a dark green first because I can. Echo says hello. Dorinda. Hello, Echo. Good to see you, Echo. And thanks for the vids lately, girlfriend. I love them. I think my laptop is acting up i'm gonna leave and come back in okay okay did you hear me echoing or something john john i was echoing i had my youtube open i'm sorry i just uh, oh okay just okay just we're moved. good sorry hey barbie hey joe c good to see you guys hello barbie mcleod hello joe c well wes i think i said hello to you already but oh well the wild wild west mm, 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 mm. anyway kim says she's under the weather today i'm starting on a new crochet project a little rug for the bathroom i'm just going to hang out with my friends and listen well kim thank you so much and i do hope you get to feel better soon yes me too being under the weather sucks yes it does I don't see a lot of people that crochet anymore, so I would love to see some of Kim's work sometimes. Wouldn't you, Dorinda? Yes, I would. That would be pretty cool. I mean, it's been a, it's been a while since I've seen it, you know. Well, I'm crocheting a hat that I haven't touched in three weeks, but. Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. You know, same shit, different day. I started it and then I put it down and I haven't touched it since. Right. Because, of course, the weather's not that cold right now. Which, you know, you're crocheting winter hats, you kind of want it to be cold. Right. It's raining. <laughs> I got rain. It's February. It's pouring here. This snow's almost all gone from that storm now. It's almost all melted away. I'm like, this is pretty wild. <laughs> so it was uh, 82 degrees here today. And it's uh, tomorrow, it's not even going to get to but about maybe 50. <laughs> and then to go back in the 30s. So, yay. John, John. No. <laughs> uh, no, I don't knit mittens. I hate knitting, but I, I have done it. We're at 23 here, John John. Oh, y'all went below freezing. 
Yeah. Yeah, but you live, you can remember you guys live in Canada, okay? It's supposed to be freaking freezing. Yeah. I live by the Gulf of Mexico. It's not supposed to be freezing here. Sorry, but that's the way it is. Don't hate to play or hate the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, husband just, <laughs> my husband just pulled in, so he'll be yapping in a second. Okay. We're ready for yapping. Just so you know, people. Okay, everybody. Shh. And, uh, oh, thanks, Kim. And I just subbed to your channel. So I will be able to see all that. Mary Brewer says she crochets dishcloths. Also made a granny square afghan. Also hats and scrubbies for dishes. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Wild West is having a green beer. Says happy St. Patty's Day. <laughs> March 17th, he's a little March. early having green beer. <laughs> okay, Josie. <laughs> it's never too early for green beer, in my personal opinion. Just or beer. Exactly. If you want a beer, get a beer. Just drink yeah. one for me. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is uh, tomorrow. No, it's March 17th. I just said March 17th. Silly. I mean, um, I'm sorry, March 17th. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're in February. Ugh. We just had Valentine's Day. Don't yeah. rush it. <laughs> no rush it. Actually, when's Easter? I don't even know. I actually uh, haven't looked to see when Easter is. Oh, I can tell you that. Let's see. It is in... Um... Mar Good Friday is April the 7th. Oh, okay. So it's not my daughter's birthday weekend yet this time. <laughs> Let's see. And Mother's Day is in April. No, Mother's well. Day is in May. Mm -hmm. No. Mother's Day is May. Father's okay, Day Easter, is May. Day, Easter Day is the 9th of April. Okay. Father's Day is in June. Yeah. I'm clicking through my calendar and it's not cooperating. There's yeah, Mother's now, Day. Sorry. May the what? 14th. Oh, day after my Mother's birthday. Day. Peace Officers Memorial Day is the 15th. Memorial Day is the 29th. How about Bless that? Anyway, let me get off of that calendar. Rocksteady! Hey, hey Rock, good to see you. Good to hey, see Rock, you. Hey, Rocksteady! <laughs> By the way, Rock, I'm back to work. I got a full-time job. Whoop, whoop. I'm loving it. Getting at house. Working nine to five. What a Although man. better hours than that or whatever, but yeah. Next week I get a 7.30 in the morning, and then I got a couple of closing shifts to train on. So Do you get <laughs> any time off? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard about your days off yet. Well, so far I'm lucky. I have this Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. Uh, I only have three shifts next week, but I have a feeling she's going to end up asking me to work. Um, so that means I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off next weekend. That's right, oh. Rock. Rock says, GG, show me the money. <laughs> when I get a new laptop. Because <laughs> this is, I, I, you know, the more, Dorinda and I were on the chat thing and it closed. I was like, Oh my God, it's even doing it when I'm talking live to somebody. Like we were in a backstage thing talking. I'm like, what the heck? So I'm like, okay, I'm I'm pretty sure that means motherboard or something. Something's not good if all of a sudden my inner, like not the internet doing it, like the page just closes. I'm like, why is that happening? 
I don't understand. <laughs> like, Piece of shit. <laughs> Well, I mean, hey, it's going on nine years to have that's this. All? That's all? That's all. <laughs> yeah, it's Rock, exactly. Except I don't have no $1,500 for a new Mac. I don't know. Them new, them new computers be crazy. Oh, yeah, but the difference from this one to the next one is going to be extreme. Yeah, the, the newer one you're going to get is going to be rocking and rolling. So you'll oh, be happy. Yeah, so, yeah, so much better, yeah. Anytime you have an old computer and replace it with a new version, oh, man. Yeah. Well, new the first thing you do is kick yourself for not doing it sooner, right? <laughs> like, yeah, oh. well, it, 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 it's, you know, what the last couple of years has been like, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there was no money for doing that. Now there is. Yay, back to work. I'm so lucky, I must say. Oh, he's back home now. Thought he was back home. He must have forgot something. Yep. So wait a minute, this job, blah, blah, was it, yeah, okay. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. all five jobs I've had, basically, I applied and got it, bang, that's it, I've never really had to job hunt, as soon as I apply for something, I get it, <laughs> okay, maybe it, be, um, maybe I'm not being fussy, I guess, on the job, maybe whatever, you know, but when I like something, I stick to it, I love the restaurant, business but uh it just kind of came to a point after 17 years well 17 with one and four or five with another one it was like okay 22 something years is enough for serving like yeah time to do something else, right? yeah yeah and then i went back to retail doing retail before serving i loved it but if you just sing of course in the restaurant stuff i weighed way much better so of course i wasn't leaving that <laughs> yeah uh, Indy's in the house, uh, Dorinda. How are you doing, Indy? It's great to see you. Hey, Dorinda, catch it, catch up those who just came in, catch them up on what you're doing here. Okay, so I am painting. I took a picture off of Google, stuck it on a box with a piece of glass, and I took that out of a picture frame. And I'm painting the picture onto the glass for St. Patty's Day. Party. And I hear your dog. <laughs> yeah. I'll be I'm going I'm going to cook some pork chops in my slow cooker with some potatoes, carrots, and onions. Whoop. Hey, where to go? Oh, yeah, up there already. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> awesome. You invite me or send me a bowl. Yeah, that sounds really good. Good to see you, Shift. Good to see you, Indy. Yep. How you doing, Shift? How's my favorite English peeps doing, Tony and Katie? They put another video out today. Just so you know, Gigi. Yeah. You know what? I just realized I have to go back and sub you guys. I'm like, oh, yeah, right. I knew there was a couple of people I missed. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. Just realized that. I haven't been on much. Except for talking to Dorinda. Going to work has been just freaking awesome. Although yesterday when I got home, it was like Epsom salt bath. Now <laughs> I hurt. <laughs> I hear you. Chip, uh, 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 kicker, when you going live again? You got a date set? And Wild West, you need to come on live with me and cook something, man. Like what you're cooking tonight. That would be cool. Hey, Lisa Anderson. Hello, Lisa. Outer hours. Oh, okay. Good yes, you know. Lisa. Oh. <laughs> and TJ. <laughs> Shift, I'm on the free hours too. Of course, I don't do as many lives, but yeah, I'm on the free. Oh, stuff. good to see you. Oops. Hi, Thank TJ you. Cats. Yep. Hey, TJ Cats. Good to see you. Dorinda, that's looking pretty good. I know. I'm like it. I changed to the skinny brush. Gotta do the outlines in black. Cook. 
cool. Well, rock steady is the first time for everything, my friend. So just never say never. Good to see you too, Chef Pecker. Mwah. It's good to see everybody. Well, she did my name at the bottom with a heart, so I just going Mwah, back. <laughs> oh. uh, that's so corny. <laughs> Thank you, Kino. <laughs> good to see everybody too. Yep, yeah, it's, a good, it's a good looking group of people in here. It's our bestest of the bestest in the room. What, what? Yeah, I definitely can't lose the squirrel thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Actually, I had to laugh. <laughs> I kind of did that with my paws and in my head. I was like, oh, God, you did squirrel moment. <laughs> And she only knew what was in my head. She would be. <laughs> <laughs> Shift kicker. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you know what, guys? Like TJ and Rock, I didn't do lives either. I said I wasn't going to do lives, and I've done four on my channel. Now, it's been a while. But, you know, I'm going to be doing another one here soon. But yeah, I understand. I mainly just want to just put the videos up. Yeah, that's really what the channel's about is the videos more than the lives. But lives are fun. Don't be afraid to try them. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. And don't snicker at me, Gigi. I know. <laughs> I no, I was no, I wasn't doing anything like that. I I swear. I was just sitting there thinking to myself oh, to say the kind of the same thing going like, okay, yep. I dump my channel for various reasons. Um, if anybody wants to follow me now, it's awesome. I just want people that appreciate me for me yep. and take my word as truth. Yes. Um, I'm a decent human being. I've only wanted the best for everybody out there. And so I had to get away from a lot of, crap that's out there so now i just if i haven't even had time to really do anything to put out there i've been now busy with work and stuff but it's good to see so many people out there i miss you guys and i love you guys just saying <laughs> well said well you gotta tell them what your channel is so they can subscribe you dumbass well kino's been doing it <laughs> that's all i think oh, okay <laughs> kino put it up twice already he's like thanks <laughs> Way oh, ahead and of Rock goes, Gigi, what's your channel? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dorinda, uh, you want to uh, post your channel too? <laughs> oops. Oh, boy. Go, I could have moved these treatment padding on. <laughs> That's right, Echo. Y'all still good looking. And okay, good looking on the inside, okay? On the inside. That's where the real beauty is. It's on the inside. Because ain't nobody wants to be looking at me, okay? But I'm a beautiful person on the inside. I have to agree with that. And shift kicker, I know exactly what you're talking about. And guys, we all have to stay together. And uh, we've all kind of been uh, shit on and stabbed in the back here lately. So uh, those of us that are still standing, we can uh, just love one another and lift each other up. And don't worry about everything else because it'll all That's work right. out. That's what I'm doing. 
Yes, Shift Giver, I'm so sorry that I did dump that channel after all your hard work. I love you. I'm sorry. But I had to. I had to let go of, of all that crap that was in there and certain people that were attached to it. I just, I had to. I had to just take off. I wasn't even sure if I was going to want to come back and hang out and all that. But I love my girls right now. And then John, John, well, yeah, funny guy. And, you know, we just love them all. Who can resist I you, John, John? <laughs> I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. I know, but, you know, it was all attached to that. And, and I look, I know. You know. It's, you know. It's but uh, you, we're like, moving on. Bigger and better things, right? Yep. I'd sit back and reflect and, and you know. Doesn't take yeah. long to realize who your true friends are in this community. It really doesn't, if you pay attention. Exactly. That is true. Amen. And I have a whole bunch of really, really good friends here visiting my channel. And hello, Annette yep. Graff. Hello, Annette Graff. And I'm looking hello. in this chat, and I see many wonderful people in this chat. Every one of you. Every one of you in this chat, I consider good friends of mine. Every single one of you. There's not one person in here that I have a beef with. There's not one person in here that I don't like. I think y'all yep. are all awesome. Exactly. And I'm honored exactly. to be in your presence. Ramona Perez, good to see you. Hello, Ramona. I am uh, working on a painted picture on a glass from um, a picture frame. And I got the picture off of um, Google. And it's starting to look really good, Narenda. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm liking it. Uh, Lisa, I'm not sure I'll do. Where's the beef? <laughs> Lisa, I'm kind of waiting on uh, the weather to get better because, you know, I'm kind of the outdoors cooking guy, right? I like to do the outdoor stuff. Uh, so I'm going to try and do a live either outside when the weather's better or I'll just do one inside and we'll do like a little appetizer or something, something that I can make in less than an hour, you know, 30 minutes or so and just hang out with you guys and, you know, just do food stuff. Cause I don't get into all the other, when I'm on my channel, I just get into food stuff. I don't worry about everything else. I like my channel to where people can come there and get away from everything else and just talk about something that we all love and that's food. So that's <laughs> why I do it. <laughs> And Shift Kicker, thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Hey, Rocksteady, that was kind of funny that you said, where's the beef? Uh, <laughs> not current. We, we won't ask why you said that, but uh, in, in, in funny hindsight, um, my sister and I, who is five years older than me, ended up going to college together at the same time for the same business administration course. At the time, that's when the commercial came out with the two old ladies and the Wendy's commercial. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I hope you do. I do. <laughs> I thinking, Wait a minute. I don't know if the Americans have Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the, the two old ladies are lifting the bun up going, where's the beef? Where's the beef? So it became a joke in our classroom. Uh, and they reversed it and made me the older one over my sister. And I was the old lady going, you know, where's the it's, you know, just made me think of that in the old days. God, time's flying. Holy Lord, that was the Crazy. 80s. <laughs> Rocksteady says, where's the Sorry. Oh, Echo said this. Where's the beef sticks? <laughs> <laughs> the beef sticks. Oh, I forgot about that. I, I've got a beef jerky video. I don't know if y'all seen that. Scroll down on my page. Yes, I have. If y'all want to make some beef jerky. That came out really well. I want to do that again. That was good. And the recipe is off of Jack is uh, similar to Jack Link's uh, jerky, by the way. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, Gigi. Yeah, Ramona, I mean that. I, I honestly, that's I'm telling you the truth. And I have no reason to lie. I enjoy. Many of y'all in this community are great people. I'm glad to be here. 
last year was rough and it's really nice to be here uh, when I'm better, healthier, feeling better. I'm enjoying myself again. So, GG Kiss Out says, Bring me back a beer. Oh, that sounds good, Shift Kicker. That sounds excellent. A shift kicker, what I would do, see, I, I deer hunt. I have some venison in the freezer. Uh, I could take a roast out and carve it up and do that, or I could do the best of the best and do the back strap and make jerky with that, uh, which would come out so good. Oh, my gosh. But shift kicker, if you go look at that video I did, with the uh with the beef jerky and look at the uh ingredients i use you could try it on that or just put some to the side and try it with that uh i did do mine on the grill i did smoke it uh, so if you have a smoker you can try it that way yeah me too rock thank you kiss off i'm good girl i'm look god's blessed me i'm I'm almost, I'm right at 100%. I mean, no complaints. Yeah, they do, NC Dabs. And how you doing? It's good to see you. Um, NC Dabs, I do my jerky on, the, on my pellet smoker, and it comes out really well. Uh, but the dehydrators are absolutely incredible, too. Yeah, I do mine on my dehydrator. Yeah, I like I like the pellet grill because I can get more of a smoky taste in it. Yeah. Uh, not all of us have a pellet grill. Oh, okay, Ramona. Uh, to be honest, Ramona, my wife doesn't like a lot of smoke, real smoky jerky either. So a lot of times I'll have to uh, put some to the side for her or she'll just complain. <laughs> So, you know, you learn over years to take care of your wife and be a good husband and do what she says, right? There's <laughs> no trouble. Okay. Ring, it's looking good. Are you almost done? I am done. Well, that looks really good. That's awesome. I know. Hello, oh. Lisa. Sorry. She said, okay, you saw that. Um, John, maybe you said this while I was gone about Rocksteady saying, I remember when it was just John, John, Dorinda, Gigi, and me. <laughs> Who said that? Rocksteady. Rock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lisa, it doesn't look like I have a message from you. Um, can you send it again and put your name? At the beginning, please. She's, somebody's going to yes. call me in a minute. But uh, when this dries, it'll get put in the picture frame. Awesome. And it looks nice. Dad, that's cool. And I'm just going to pe possibly peel the paint picture off the back. Okay, kiss off. So where's my uh, rye or vodka? I don't know. Pick one, but I don't drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kiss off. If I want to ask for a crown, you have better luck. That looks good, Dorinda. Excellent job. And that's really easy. That really wasn't hard to do. Just a little bit of patience and a steady hand. And I like it. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to put the frame back together. Oh, fuck. It helps if you put the glass in first, you dumbass. <laughs> yes, people, I'm talking to myself. Just don't answer yourself. Well, sometimes that's the most intelligent conversation I get during the day. <laughs> 
Just okay. saying. There you go. Nice. Thanks, you. Thanks, Katie and Tony. And that I didn't put a piece of paper, blank white piece of paper, in the back, but I will eventually. Oh, the that looks really good. Nice job, Dorinda. Okay. <whistles> and Lisa, I still have not got it. Oh, Kim, sure. I wish I was with you. I would love to have some of that vegetable soup. I love soup, especially homemade. Made seven gallons. Man, that's a big old pot of soup. Lisa Anderson. Your phone's on camera, Dorinda. I, I don't. Yeah, it's fine. Lisa is me okay maybe that's maybe you don't have the right number so i just sent you my number lisa i just emailed you or messaged you sorry okay let's drop the chat hang on a minute Copy. looking good dorinda Looking good. Enter. Okay, there we go. Hang on a minute, folks. Um. Uh. Gg, did you bail on us? Oh fuck. No, no I mean, she's just <laughs> it's still here. Well, you got kind of quiet. I didn't know if you froze up again. Ooh, scary. I got quiet. Yeah, GG, quiet. What in the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I've been working this week. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go like this. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to move the camera, folks. So just give me a second. Yeah, don't look, don't look at the screen because you're going to get dizzy. <laughs> There. Now I look like I'm human and not so close to people. Okay. Oh, and you've got clothes on. Good. All right. Well, yeah, I got clothes on. I'm doing a Perfect. lot. Fuck. I ain't going to be sitting here in, room, <laughs> in nakedness. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> be fun if I'm What's in my mouth? <laughs> Yeah, were you eating something? <laughs> I don't even know why that was said. Like, what did I do? What did I say? <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to mute for a minute, and I'll be right back. All right. Yes, it is, uh, Tony and Katie. Come up, I drop the link for chat. Come on up. Come on up, Bye. Oh, yes, it's ladies' night. Well, at least that's what Thursdays always used to be at bars, right? Ladies' night? Um, No, well, Wednesday nights used to be ladies' night. Oh, yeah, for you guys? Yeah. Here mm -hmm. was a uh, country Wednesday bar. Here was Thursday. Uh, that's, that's at the Honky Tonk. Ah, okay, yeah. That's yeah. at the Honky Tonk. Because Wednesday night was uh, ladies' night and male strippers. <laughs> So it was male strippers from uh, when from seven to nine, and then at nine all the dudes would show up, and the girls were already half drunk, and uh, you know what else from watching them male strippers, they were ready to go. <laughs> you know it's funny. <laughs> 
I was watching stuff about Magic Mike after work. <laughs> you bring up strap on Because <laughs> the new ones <laughs> uh, Dorinda, you're muted if you didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait a mile a minute and my fucking muted. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It's like you're good now. <laughs> oh, I do believe it's time. See, Trina, that's why it's you, me, babe. <laughs> it's like two Canadians. <laughs> Out of all the rugged, after all, <laughs> you think about it, it's funny. <laughs> oh, good. <God. laughs> And GG, the bar, the bar that I was just describing is the same bar I met Paula in. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Where she stalked me for two weeks. Sure, sure. He had nothing to do with it, right? She me for two weeks. And then finally she went in there on a bachelorette party and she got drunk as Cooter Brown and she had enough nerve to come and talk to me. Story. Ask you yourself. Run, I love it. <laughs> Ask yourself. True story. True story. Uh, Lisa. Down that, I'm like Cooter Brown. That's a uh, common. I never had it. Hang on a Look minute. Cooter Brown. I never That's had another cell phone number other than this one. But you got the new. You got the number now. Because I got your message. So just leave it at that. I don't right. know what phone number you had as me. Put it that way. Thank you. Annette, who's buffering? Am I buffering? I almost wonder if I should go back out and come back in. No, you should be fine. I hadn't I hadn't I seen you freeze up. Yet. Of course I just sat back. I, mean, I was buffering. I was really if kind I'm of looking buffering, it's my fault because I forgot to do my taking shit off today mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> shit on the computer I forgot to do my taking shit off today <laughs> well you know my, my bookmarks I probably have 300 of them you know the other time I took them off like three days ago I had a thousand bookmarks right and you know my documents and my downloads they all have to go <laughs> Especially stuff that you don't need. You know what I mean? Right. And that's the thing uh, for me on my Mac, which is why I really, really need to get a new one, is my pictures of stuff. I don't want to let them go to make room. I mean, I'm working on like 10 gigs or 15 gigs or something, whatever. That's what I got left. <laughs> it's just full. Every time I was making my videos, I kept using like five gig back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> it's like, we're getting more. I'm like, okay, what can I remove? Right. But I guess I don't need my, re well, no, I guess I should hang on to my resume. You never know. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to go back to work, I tell you. Best thing. Best thing in the world. I, I got to work this week, one day. Oh, was that day. it? Oh, one did you back and back? Oh, back to work. It's like, oh. Yeah. Well, I don't, I mean, I'm doing stuff, but physically with mm. equipment in my hands. One oh, day. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. all right. And then, the, then it rained again. Yep. But it's good. <laughs> it's called, I like it. It's called it. It's called today, not taking nothing off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm this close to going into work already with shorts on. <laughs> You're crazy, okay? You're fucking crazy. Well, is that allowed? For shorts. Jesus. Yeah, I'm allowed. It's fucking awesome. That's why I love this shit. I'm like, I get to wear yoga pants, a t shirt, it's shorts, you know, and of course, shorts, not short shorts, like nothing crazy, whatever. You're like, you know, a decent length or whatever, which of course, at my age, I would do anyways. Well, wait. Like, Wow. Huh? Y'all have a kitchen? You can fry bacon. You can fry everybody bacon for lunch. <laughs> Canadian bacon, which is really ham, but Canadian bacon. Pew. 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 
okay? Bacon is ruined for the rest of my life, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Chad. Half the people in chat don't know what in the world we're talking about. It's inside. No, chat. we don't. And that's a good thing. Some we're people do them. know the bacon, right? Some people don't know the we'll just leave it alone. Some people know the bacon story, but they mm -hmm. don't know the bacon story. <laughs> and ah. so, I don't want to talk about bacon anymore. All right. <laughs> I want to say some good news. So shut up for a minute. Or say at least BLT. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A human chain for, formed by Florida biologists to save a stranded dolphin. The dolphin got lost and swam up a Florida canal. Uh, no less than 30 biologists and volunteers formed a human chain to bo block the passage further up the canal. And the dolphin turned around and left the canal. The dolphin is safe. Awesome. Yay. Awesome. Yay. Uh, Kevin Bacon. I think Kevin Bacon's not bad. He was good footloose. <laughs> footloose. Yeah, what Kevin Bacon. What did yeah. he do after footloose? I'm trying to remember. The what? Sorry? I said, what did Kevin Bacon do after Footloose? Not much of fuck all. Not much. Uh, he was in the, was it, Tre no, not Tremors. Yeah, I'm Tremors. sure he was in some other movies, but I just. He and Tremors? Were those things from underground were coming up? I know, uh, Tremors, but that wasn't. Now, look, Footloose was a huge more. deal back then. Yeah. That was a big All he got to do is music, though. He's right into the music thing. Mm -hmm. Which surprised me. I didn't know that. Right. His foot fell off. <laughs> uh. I don't Somebody. think his foot fell off, but you never know. Could have been other body parts. Oh, shut up. There. Oh, did you guys see that? Uh, no. What's his name? <laughs> Mel Gibson? No, not Mel Gibson. Or is it Mel Gibson? No. Somebody, uh, somebody's going to know as soon as I say this. Somebody has Alzheimer's. Some actor was Oh, just, Bruce Willis. Oh, Bruce Willis. Sorry, guys. I couldn't yep. spell out. Dementia. Yeah, it has dementia. Must be, I'm I'm dementia. Cool. Something or other with dementia. I'm like, yeah, yeah we kind of saw that kind of coming. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, you know, we all got to go by something, right? It's sad, though. Nonetheless. It is. I, I don't wish Alzheimer's dementia on anybody, not even my worst enemy. That is just a horrible. Watch yeah. my uh, grandparents and my mom go through it. No, thank you. I don't want anything to do with it. Yep. But see, to me, all this stuff, I personally believe, goes back to all our plastic use, aluminum foil use, uh, barbecuing, little sulfites, you know. There's so many things that we shouldn't do when it tastes so damn good or whatever it is or tandy, you know, glass was great to use, but you know, it broke if we drop it. So we start using plastic. So it wouldn't, you know, you want to you know, put plastic in is, you know, nothing good comes out of plastic. Nope. Do you know, they even say it's in the air now. Possibly. And that's why the, well, that's why a lot of the whales and shit like that are coming up on the beaches. They've been testing them too. There's, uh, I still can't get over that one. The toilet paper glue shits in their systems. I'm, so, I'm like, oh, my crazy. Lord, are you kidding me? They dump so much crap in the oceans. It's just, um, it's, it's really yeah. sad. I still remember being on the beach as a kid uh, in the little town I grew up on because right by the lake. And I saw this plant, this smaller plant. and But there was a an area where I had this, you know, big gaping hole where it was going in to the water and I was like mm -hmm. didn't know what it was and I finally asked my mom she's oh you know you know they clean the water they do this and that and I'm like oh and I kept thinking about it thinking about going well what else do we put in of course over the years like look what we are doing to our water it's gross putting all right. kinds of tools, tools in it to make it okay before it goes even in the water like bleh.
On that graph, yeah, I know, baby. It's yeah, it was tough watching my mom go through it. My mom had that on top of uh, congestive heart failure. So the uh, congestive heart failure is what did her in, but uh, she also had Alzheimer's, and it was it was just brutal. Yep, brutal. Okay, I got you, Lisa. Sub you. What's that doing now? Well, I'm trying to put my paint away. And I was trying to scoop paint back into these ones. And there's a little tiny, tiny fucking hole. Then it's just not working well. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's not working well. That's what she said. Motherfucker. That was the <laughs> made me think of it again. <laughs> Oh, I was talking about Magic Mike. I saw the uh, the trailer to the new one coming out, and then of course on the side it has all your other little options. Kind of, oh, well, this is the you know, same topic kind of thing, right? So I'm seeing all this uncensored backstage chatting with uh, Channing Tatum and the other guys that were the strippers there, and uh, and Matthew McConaughey and <laughs> the antics and stuff that happened. Oh my lord, it was hilarious. They, I mean, literally they. She did the thing with just like random people that they had around them, and oh my lord, it was hilarious to listen to. <laughs> hey, uh, Donna R, how are you doing? And you're not late, you're never late, you nope. hear when you hear. It's all good, <laughs> Kim. That's funny. <laughs> you're welcome, Lisa. <laughs> I just realized what you said. We're all pretty much drunk <laughs> at you. <laughs> Not me, anyways. Mm -mm. Not me tonight. I'm oh, I'm a midnight joker. What's that song? I always forget the name of that song, but as soon as I hear that line. What the name of that song? Yeah. Or, no, it's called The Joker, isn't it? Yep. Okay. I do know the name. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> wow, Annette. Holy. Double pie pass at 92. I'm a picker. I'm a grinner. I'm a lover. And I'm a sinner. That's it. Yeah. When the song gets going, I, I eat, the words come kind of natural. It's like, but just sitting here, it's like, oh, let go. I just know that one line that I like. <laughs> Hey, all for his kingdom. How are you? Hello, all for his kingdom. Great to see you. Hmm. Yeah, my vocabulary just comes out as it wants. I have no control. Absolutely none. And I will not claim to have control. Oh, wow. I hope you get some sleep tonight, Annette. Hmm. I get up around that time every day. Not me. I'm not working. I don't have to get up. Half the time I get up, go for a pee, have a smoke, go back to bed. Screw it. I'm done. Too early. Say, yeah, five o'clock, that'd be me too. <laughs> Run to the bathroom. Hey, even at, even at 30, I'll do it, go. <laughs> that depends on me on what I'm going to bed too. <laughs> well, say I can't. My body just wakes up. I don't have control. I mean, I just wake up and I don't go back to sleep. And it doesn't matter when I go to bed, really. Oh no, your puppies eat the plug-in. Ow. I hope they're okay. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I hope they didn't get any wire in them. 
Have a good night. Have a good night, Echo. God bless. Bye, Echo. again see if anybody wants to come up all right i had my fix you did have ice cream i did yes you did oh you didn't share with me i did I uh what you didn't eat it and melted and ran down the table sorry did not did not <laughs> sorry <laughs> Wow. Oh. Only five hours sleep. No, not me, man. So here comes our cool weather. Hey, Wyatt. Hello, Wyatt. Hey, Wyatt. Good to see you. Yeah, so I hear you, Northern Sounds. My sleeping habits in the last couple of years have been really messed up. I don't do not know what like sleeping straight through eight hours is. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> no, I can do it. Wow, y'all yeah, get eight hours of sleep. Wow, that's cool. Well, I can get eight eight hours sleep, but it'll probably take me nine or ten hours to get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me. I go to bed oh. and I'm out. I'm unconscious, and if I wake up eight and a half hours later. Or eight hours later, or seven and a half hours later, I come out, have a smoke, go for a pee, and go back to bed. Screw that shit. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> they definitely and then I sleep, then I sleep till like at eleven o'clock, and it's like, okay, now I can wake up. Yeah. Now I can have my and coffee. Definitely have the one wake up, and then later on I will get up. But in between, it's like I don't know how many times I'll wake up. And it depends if I'm having a good night to where I can go to sleep right away or one of the nights where it's taking me like an hour or two to go to sleep, <laughs> which is annoying. <laughs> Should I wait a few, neighbor? You're a nice person. <laughs> hey, you know, what comes around goes around. Be a good girl. Yep. Do the right <laughs> Yeah, I had a couple of nice talks with customers today, and you know why? That's what I miss. Just having that quick little chit chat with people, you know. Somebody talking about their eighteen-year-old cat, the cat boo, and I'm like, "Yeah, my actual is to twenty. Oh, I have it." But you know what I did notice? When you think about the products in the store, I know my price is pretty good. The word dollar store really kind of gets in a mindset because I'm looking at the prices of this stuff. I'm like, these are not good prices. <laughs> I can get better for better buck. <laughs> like their little small Javix bleach kind of thing. It's a smaller container for, um, a buck. yeah, I think it was a buck 50. Well, you can get the container that's like double the size for like a buck. <laughs> so I'm like, Right. That's how they get it. Yeah, right. A box of tissue, a buck fifty. Wait a minute, I can get a six pack for six bucks. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm like, no wonder this place can stick because I've always tried to figure out how does a dollar like you know what I mean? How's it kind of work? Now I get it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, more there's more than, than more. And I know more than factor involved in that, GG, and a lot of that. The dollars, the, the, the design of a dollar store is for people that are on low income or fixed income because, yes, they can save money by buying a six pack for six bucks, but they don't have that extra money to do that at the time. So they just have the dollar or the dollar fifty. And that's kind of how that got going. But yes, it is better to go buy in quantity. Well, but that's what I'm saying. It's a dollar fifty for a box of tissue. Right. I could probably go to another store and buy one box of tissue for less than a buck and a half. Probably so. But the idea that think all these things are cheaper in here when necessarily it's the dollar signs that are kind of grabbing you, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you kind of get fixated on the dollar. Right. I get that part. Yeah. The price is the price yeah, point. Uh, you're going, oh, well, it's only a dollar. It's a dollar fifty. Well, you know, if you are a good shopper, you wait till certain sales come on and you can get it right. for half the price of what it is in here. 
it was, it was the bleach that kind of uh, caught my eye because I know I just bought a big jug of bleach, right? Like one of them, the one gallon or something like that for say maybe a buck 30. And I'm like, well, that's a half a bottle for a buck and a half. I'm like, oh, okay, that's how they do it. <laughs> well, we have items that we'll go to Sam's club and buy uh, about only like once a month, month and a half. And when we go there, we get those items because it's cheaper in the long run. Hello, Garrett. We stock Great to see you. Hey, Garrett. Garrett, good to see you. <laughs> oh, actually, I can relate to that, Tony and Katie. When we bought our house, um, it came with the black cat. Uh, they denied it was theirs. But yeah, whatever. Um, four years in of it living in our garage because it was not exactly all that affectionate, whatever, but it gave, but ended up losing an eye. So it was one eyeless for about three years before it all of a sudden just kind of just never came home one day. But yeah, we took care of him for the seven years or something like that after the owners went, no, it's not okay. It's funny. I remember the litter box of the garage and the cat's been here and coming to our door. So how could it not be your cat? <laughs> we couldn't bring it in at the time. I, he wasn't fixed, and there was no way. Like we couldn't go near him at the time when we first moved in. You know, right. I mean? might have been able to do it a little later on, but by that time he was so injured. It's like, okay, this is, you know, we could take him in there. They're gonna either put him down or whatnot. So we just let, let it to God, let him, you know. And he, like, we could not believe he still lived another three years with his eye all messed up. Uh oh. Gigi, Garrett's talking to you. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> um, yeah, go ahead and tell her, Garrett. Tell um, her. Go ahead and just set it straight. <laughs> yeah, I guess they kind of blew it, right? <laughs> you won. <laughs> Fuck, I thought they won. That's, that's how well I pay attention. Yeah. Well, okay, wait a minute. They beat America, but they lost to. Oh, I forgot now. It was too far gone. Don't ask me now. <laughs> oh, not a problem, Barbie. Sorry. I don't know why that picture came up on there. That was not what was supposed to come up on there. Um, I apologize. We did the. I did this one. The. St. Patty's Day one tonight. It looks really nice. Yeah, I really like that too. Hey, Creek Squad. Hello. Bundy. <laughs> Creek Squad's in the house. Hey, Barbie. The Creek's about to um, leave work. Barbie McLeod is one of my Facebook groupies. We'll put it that way. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah Garrett, exactly. Better, not, better nice luck next part. year, right? Yeah, she changed her name again, so we're just going to go with that. But I recognize it, so. Cool. Barbie McLeod. I was going to say, uh, I more would be happy for Toronto Maple Leafs to win than I care about Canada winning. <laughs> I was like, come on, Leafs. It's about time. We passed time for them to get it. Especially when all some of the other older teams all of a sudden start winning the cups, like wow, Chicago hadn't won forever, and this one hadn't Hello, won forever. Buddy. <laughs> Creek Squad, I dropped the link for you. If you want to come up, he's at work. Dorinda said he was just leaving work. Oh, okay. So he might, he might in a bit. Okay, yep. no problem. I have to go, y'all. It's that time. Alrighty. <laughs> I wish everybody a great later. weekend. Gee, right. gee, if you get a chance, come back later. Yeah. Um, he's home early. Probably not. Probably tanning for the next couple of hours. <laughs> or maybe not. You well, know yeah. what it'll be. Exactly. Exactly. That I do. Thanks. Call me. See you all later. I love you all. And Good night, God bless. Gigi. And all that. Yeah. Before you boo leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is good to see everybody. Jared, God bless. I like the too, you so be careful. See ya.
And there she goes. Yep. And there Thank she goes. Everybody. Wow, we have quite the crowd tonight. That's awesome. Yep. Everybody's hanging out. Just enjoying the evening. Yeah. All right. Everybody wants to text me tonight. How about that? All righty. Yeah, don't forget, guys. I'll sub to Gigi. She's got a new channel. Finding Kino, just put it up again. Awesome. And have they been putting your channel up tonight, John? John? Uh, probably so, but it's good. I think most everyone in here is probably subbed to me, but I do appreciate it. If you haven't, go take a look. Kiss off. I didn't think it was BS. Didn't quite understand it, but I'll just leave it at that. Well, you're going to have to do that, Kiss Off. Move on. Let it go. All right. I'll be right back. I have to give them my phone because they want to do the grocery list. And they came in to get it, but I was talking to Lisa, so I couldn't give it to them. All right. Thank you, Chef. I hope everyone's having a good evening. I hope everyone's not freezing to death. I know it's cold still for most of y'all. We were at earlier today, of course, those of you who don't know, I'm in South Louisiana, but earlier today we were at 82 degrees and uh, it's now 56 degrees. So the cold front's finally hit. And I know that's not cold to most of you northern people, but it's yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get down in the low thirties. Awesome, next couple Kim. Of days. You mean northern sounds? Kim, I'm not sure who northern homestead <laughs> is. <laughs> Al, if you get hungry, just cook some of the food that I'm showing you, and then then you're good. There you go. <laughs> I appreciate it. I uh, I did that. Uh, Cinnamon roll sausage one. That was awesome. That's a classic. That's one you could do. That's when one you were you doing do it. Anytime. I'm looking at it and I'm going, how the hell do those two flavors go together? <laughs> Hi, Christy Cat. I'm like, how the hell do they go together? That's going to taste weird. I'm like, well, uh -huh. I went out the next day, bought the cinnamon rolls and boom, boom. <laughs> oh, I don't know what. Hey, Chrissy Cat. Chrissy Cat snuck right in here. I didn't see you. I see you now. Good to see you. Hello. There's Chris. How y'all doing? Long time no see. Yeah. yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a while. How you been? Oh, tolerable, I guess. How about yourself? I ain't gonna complain. You know, nobody wants to hear that. Everybody got problems, right? So it right, ain't gonna do it. it. It ain't gonna do any good to complain at this point, anyway. No, it's not. Hey, Paula, Hello, work. Good to see you. Hello, Paula. If you complain about anything. If you complain about anything nowadays, you either a conspiracy theorist or a racist. So you know. You're right. Yep. How things up there in the big T? Oh, well, we're getting a bunch of rain right now. Storms. Yeah, we did too. Y'all probably getting that same system we're getting. It's kind of scooting across, you know. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I'm just glad that it's coming through and pushing all that shit from up in Ohio back that away and keeping it away from us. So Yeah, that, yeah we don't need any of that garbage. <clears throat> Did y'all get some snow, Chris? Uh, when? Any? How much snow have you gotten this season? Uh, we we got 
like two inches a month ago. Okay, well, that's not bad. So, and I mean, you know, that's usually the way it works out around here. You know, we get one snow a year, uh, sometimes two, and it generally don't go anymore, you know, four or five inches tops. Yeah. So, and usually when we do get, if we do get anything significant, it's melted by the next day, so. It doesn't last I long. Never knew, I never knew you guys got snow in Texas till recent, well, till the last couple of years. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not in Texas. I'm He's in Tennessee. Not in Texas. He's Tennessee. in Tennessee. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but uh, you know, you would think Tennessee would get a lot of snow. But well, you know, once upon a time we do. We used to get you know real hard snows. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a kid growing up, hell, there was times where we'd be out of school, you know, three weeks to a month at a time because of the snow. But it ain't snowed like that in a while, so right. It's global warming. Oh, yeah, global warming is getting us all. It's going to get us all run. Anyway. Yeah. But, uh, well, that's good. I mean, we had, I thought we were going to get snow this year. We had a cold, what we call a cold weather event where it got down into like 20 degrees. And we just missed that moisture. The moisture passed and then the cold came. If it would have came at the same time, we'd have had an ice event and, you know, Poor old Louisiana, we don't do ice and we don't do snow. It, it shut the whole state down. So now, we, we got lucky. Now, you know, ice, on the other hand, is a different story. We, oh, get ice, ice storm, we get ice storms all the time. Yeah. Ice is bad news. Dorinda, how you been? I've been okay. My arm's healing well and I'm doing good. Glad to hear it. How about Gigi? How's she been doing? Um, she's been doing really good. She got a job. She got a job. Working. Cool. She's happy. <coughs> we got home early. They got a three-day weekend. They're playing Catan. Well, next time you talk to her, tell her I said hey. Well, I'm sure I she heard you. She might be listening. So tell her hey. Well, if you're listening, Gigi, how you doing? There you go. And she, I know she'll come back and watch it if she didn't, if she's not on. But her hubby was getting home, and I think they were going to play Catan and hang out, you know. So, for the most part, I, I really hadn't been doing a whole lot of streaming and stuff like that lately. Right. So, uh, I got into it with my service provider. Oh, I had an issue myself, too. And Durant uh, and well, I mean, they're the only ones in the area, and they tried to charge me a bunch of money for shit that I never ordered. Ooh. And I'm like, you know, I never ordered this shit. I'm not paying for it. And their attitude was, well, you either pay for it or you don't get the service. And at that point, I was like, well, I'll take your service and stick it up your ass. I'll work something else out. So, right. so now if I want to live stream, I ride down the road to my buddy's house and sit in his driveway prior to his Wi-Fi. So there you go. Reason I'm sitting in the dark, I'm sitting in my pickup truck. I got you. Hang on a minute. Oh, hey, Jim Boswell. Good to see you, buddy. Jim slid in here. Didn't see him. And so did Paul work. Hello. Yep. I said hi to Paula. Hello again, Paula, if, if you didn't hear me. I'm just an old Indian girl. Well, Paula work. My wife is named Paula, and she's also Indian or Native American and Cajun. But the important part of those two is you don't want to piss her off because Native American and Cajun, yeah, don't piss them off. It gets it can get nasty. Yeah, I learned that lesson about pissing off a coon ass a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good idea. They, they take it hard. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> All right. You look tired, Chris. Oh, just another just another wonderful day. So, working uh, working on automobiles. I got a got a full brake job. I got to do tomorrow on a full size van. That's always fun. Drum yeah. brakes or disc? Uh, both. 
drums to the rear. Drum to the in front. the back. Yeah, I hate to damn drum brakes. You know, drum brakes, drum brakes don't bother me. You know, no, it's pulling the drum off when it's. Yeah. Off. That's you know. Um, and, I've got a project going since I talked to you last. Yeah, I, what's working on? I got a Chevy Silverado. Uh, a 2017. Uh, I understand why you got to work on it. Yeah, I got a really good deal. <laughs> well, at least it's not a foreign job like you got. So, anyway. What? I'm sitting in an F-150. <laughs> oh, You're sitting in it instead of driving it because you're probably going to be pushing it, but that's all right. Well, no, I drove it here. I got to drive it home. No, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, anyway, so uh, it had the 5.3 motor in it. Well, it dropped the lifter, tore the camshaft up, did some other damage in it. Uh, so it went to an estate sale. Well, I got the vehicle for like really cheap. Now, I knew when I bought it, it was going to need a motor. Okay. Well, so, 350 short block ain't hard to find. Well, I'm going to put another 5.3 back in it. You've got to, you can't really, you know, when you go mixing and matching, you got more work. You know that. But, uh, this is going to be another work truck. That's why I got it. But anyway, I got a good deal on the truck. I got a crate motor ordered. It'll be, of course, you can't buy motors no more. It takes a month to get them in. But uh, I got a crate motor motor ordered from Chevrolet. Going to get that put in. And um, I that, usually get a, truck, I, that I, truck today I, running is 30, 30, 28 to 31,000. Yeah. And when I'm done with it, I'm going to have maybe 10, maybe under 12, I'll say under 12 in it, the whole truck. So if I got to buy a new motor more times than not, I'll just get it from Jasper. Uh, Jasper's so, too high, man. They went up. You had, you obviously you hadn't bought a motor from Jasper in a while. Uh, yeah. About six months. And they're high. They're really high. They're, so they're they're like, that, they are a good quality build though. Yeah, so is a lot of them. But oh, I know I'm not gonna argue that with you. I've bought them before transmissions too, but no, they lately, yeah. Well, that's everything nowadays. Uh, so, but what I'm saying is, I ordered mine from New Tech and Jasper's two thousand dollars higher, same motor, okay, two thousand dollars higher. So, I'm like, no, thank you, <coughs> same warranty, four year, hundred thousand mile, but. You know, yo, it's a joke. Well, it's a joke that those motors are that much money anyway. So, you know, but then again, uh, you know, if you've got the equipment to do it or you know somebody that does, you know, it's easier just to rebuild the motor yourself. So, yeah, yeah. which I don't, not anymore. I don't do that anymore. And uh, got a good friend of mine that does have a mechanic shop and he's going to put it in for a sweet deal, you know. So that's awesome. It's all all gonna work out. All gonna work out. I needed another truck. This opportunity came along. You know, you gotta do it. Not everybody does that, right? I mean, guys like me and you will, because like, well, you gotta do this about okay, no problem. We we've been doing that for years. We know how to put something together. It's not a big deal. But uh it's gonna work out good. Well, I, I mean, you know, as long as it, it, it does what you need it to do, then that's right. That's right. That's, that's, it'd be fine. So, I mean, you know, this old truck here, you know, it just, it's just one that I picked up, you know, it's V6 F-150. You know, it's, it, it's, it, it's got the four liter V6 and it, it runs good. You know, it's no race truck or anything like that. It's a work truck. It serves a purpose. Right. Exactly. Right. So you know, when I picked it up for nothing, well, a little bit of nothing, I think I give, uh, I think I give three grand for it. Nothing wrong with that. So you know, and it's six thousand dollar truck. Oh uh, yeah, you've seen the prices of used vehicles lately? It's crazy. Oh yeah, the people are crazy. Yeah, that that truck I just told you about. You could go to go pick your car lot, CarMax. Go to CarMax. Look up this truck that I just have. You'll see one on the lot. It'll have a hundred thousand miles on it, and it's twenty-eight to thirty-one thousand dollars in the truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trucks are high. Oh, they, they yeah, 
So cars are going up too. So the the market is down a little bit, but it's not down much. It's down well, just a little bit, but it's uh the new car dealers are having trouble selling cars. It's coming back though. The chip the chip issue has been resolved, so it's slowly right. And now these car dealers have a bunch of cars sitting on their lots that they're sending off to auction because they yep. can't sell them. Well, because now they use car. Now where they're two years old, three years old. <clears throat> You know, I don't know. They got a mess on their hands. Well, it's only going to get worse. But let, let's not get uh, let's not get off into that conversation. Yeah. Let's yeah. <laughs> let's just say this. Why don't we make our own stuff again and quit outsourcing everything? You know. Amen. And we don't have these problems. And we don't have these problems. Sometimes we are our own worst enemies. Yep. Actually, it's the governments that are worst enemies because they're the ones that were doing it to us. They're the ones well, we allow them to do it. So. They're the ones that did all the stupid shit. We allow them to do it. Yeah. Because we're lazy. Nobody's got enough ass to stand up and practice the second for what it was intended to do. But I'm going to stop right there. Yeah. Uh, the first and the second. They're not even doing the first. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that goes back to what I was saying before. You know, you say something the woke crowd don't agree with, you're either a conspiracy theorist or a racist or both. Yeah. I, I don't worry about what other people say. I don't either. We're in the South. We don't worry about that, do we, brother? <laughs> no, not at all. Are we just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, indeed. So, I mean, you know, my, my favorite saying to somebody like that is you can kiss both sides of my ass. So work your way to the middle. Yeah. Well, Dorinda, what, what's new in your world, sweetie? Not much. Not much. Just kind of putting along. I made an airing yesterday. So I'll probably go live in the next couple of days and show everybody how to do that. Damn, that's a hell of an earring. It hurt my lobe just looking at it. I know. <laughs> it's, it's actually... <coughs> this is the original. Okay? And this one's not actually that much heavier than this one it looks heavy but it's not it's not that heavy really i ain't worn an earring in 40 years i don't wear earrings either oh show him your picture dorinda i don't know if, chris if you were if you saw what dorinda made tonight it's pretty cool oh, yeah i like it that's your tell him how you I, did it Dorinda. i took a picture off of google I took the glass out of the picture frame, taped the picture to the back of the picture of the glass, and then I painted over top of it and put it back in the frame. I should have put a white sheet of paper behind it, but I didn't have one handy, so I didn't do it. Oh, John John. Yes. Remember the other night when I did that extra, uh, I did the board with the paper, baking paper on it? Yeah. Okay, I had one already done, so I painted on that one, but I had the other one. Right. Well, I did an abstract on it. Well, you did another one. Yeah. Well, that I looks cool. It. That's uh, the parchment, the one with the parchment paper. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really cool. All right. It didn't do what I wanted it to do exactly because the one I wanted to do needed to be on a flat surface. <laughs> Good night, shift kicker. Have a great night. So, well, I can't see the chat, so I don't know who's in it. Uh, oh, we got uh, Chrissy Cat, shift kicker, Al Bundy, kiss off. Uh, Garrett, Annette, Annette, uh, Graf, 
Who else did I see in here? Jim Boswell was in here. Howdy, all. Yep. I don't know if she's still here. Echo was here earlier. Yeah, Echo was here earlier. We had a nice little group. Joe really, is here. Really nice. There he was. Lisa Anderson. All the work. Northern Sounds. A lot of people in here tonight. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, like yeah, like I, I say, I just uh, I just really I don't have a whole lot of time to hang out anymore. So so on top of you know service and all like that, hell, I'm always doing something. So right, well, we understand. So got 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 to keep that uh got to keep that tax revenue rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Keep them slimy politicians living in the manner in which they are accustomed. Well, you know the difference between a politician and a catfish, don't you? I do. Yeah, one's a scum sucking bottom dweller, and the other one's a fish. Yep. Okay, Creek Squad, no problem. Let me know if you want me to drop you the link. So I'm probably going to run here in a few, but I seen you were up. I hadn't talked to you in a minute, so. Yeah, it's good to well, see you, man. I'm glad you so to see you still. Uh, still glad to see you right side up, brother. It's good to uh, see you. Yeah. I, so I appreciate it. It's good seeing you. Don't be a stranger, please. So, of course, I, I'm fixing. Uh, I think I've finally about had enough. I'm fixing to drag weed eater out. <laughs> fixing to do some trimming. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm fixing to hack it all off. Really? All of, yeah, it? No. all of it. All of it. All Come of on, it. Man. All, all of it. Wow. Well, um, you better put your 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 name up there when you come up because nobody will fucking recognize you. Be like, who the oh, fuck as soon as he opens his mouth, I will. I know who he is. As, yeah. And that's generally the way I do it. You know, if I meet people and I, you know, I'm bearded like this, and then I shave it all off. I walk up to them and not say a word, and they won't know who I am until I start speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jim. How are you tonight? I'm doing okay. Hi, Chris. Hi, John. Hey, you know? Jim. Good to see you. Listen, I, interesting what you said, Chris, about tax revenue. Well, I found something that very interesting today. I was talking to an accountant on the phone and telling him about, like, filing paper, and he told me, I hate doing it, and I know a lot of people don't like doing it because you don't want the government to have your records. If a person does all their taxes through the e-file system, a human being doesn't even look at this at all. It's all done by a computer, and as long as everything adds up right, dollars and cents, you have basically no problem with the IRS. When you do it all by paper, somebody's got to look at that, and they can make math errors. I just carry it all the block and let them take care of it. Yeah, because I finally figured out today why my wife and I have a problem every year with the, with the IRS. Because it, it's a pain in the rear end to do this stuff. Well, oh, absolutely. You have the uh, Christmas tree farm, right? Well, it's not that. It's trying to figure out like stuff with um, dividends and stocks and stuff like that. It's basically if you're off like on one number, it throws off everything. <laughs> so you, you figure if you do something on the on dividends or interest, and and it's off by one thing, the whole form is screwed up, and then they got to reevaluate it. And then the reason why people always get penalties is because the time the person at the IRS has to spend trying to figure this stuff out for you. Well, the IRS is going, uh, you know, they're going to get you one way or another. Mm-hmm. Good night, Northern so, Sounds. You ever 
good night. I know it's really late where you are, 3 a.m. It Holy is. Crap. Yeah. Tony and Katie, good night. It's good to see you guys. I mean, when, when, when I pay my state taxes, you know, my business, if I get the figures wrong, even if it's in their favor, I still get penalized for it. Mm -hmm. so, well, I had a problem over forgetting they call it a rev form because I'm a farmer and I don't have any income until the month of December. So I don't follow quarterly. And I have to all have it on one March 1st. Well, they made a mistake of five cents. And for me to appeal it, I'd have to appear at the county because um, each county has a tax revenue site. I'd have to appear before a board to appeal it, and it's not worth fighting over $14.78. That's, yeah. I mean, it gets to the point, it's like between gas and I don't want to go parking my 20 year old truck at the county seat because of what's going on down there. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, because because our, our county seat has become basically a pigsty. Has it? It's pretty bad. Well, there's about 5,000 homeless people in the county seat. Mm. And half of them um, are newcomers. Well, that kind of stuff's going to get a lot worse. Mm -hmm. So. So in the next couple of years, it's going to get a lot worse. Well, I know. Do you know, Chris, uh, you were saying earlier about your taxes. I, I'm in a really fortunate situation because uh, our our tax lady that does our business taxes, she's a personal friend. And uh, this particular last couple of years, my wife has been tutoring her daughter. So we've bartered services, which is really works out. You know, because I don't mind letting somebody do my quarterly file. And it's not hard, I know, but, you know, I've got two employees and she has, she does the payroll for it and all that. And it's it, it's been working, you know, for the last, you know, 15 years. So why I don't mess with it. Right. But, but you know, but you're right when you say that. And she's good at what she does and she's not going to mess it up. I, if, if I'm doing it and it's just like you said, I could pay them too much or mess it up. And yeah, they're going to come back and penalize you. And then yeah. they go, then here come the letters. Well, now we need to see this. And now we need to see that. You know mm -hmm. how it is. It's a whole. That's why I say I just hire a professional to do it. So exactly. Because the left hand over there, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. And the one in the middle don't even have any hands. So it's just a big old mess. So yeah, it's, it's really worth it to get somebody to do it. For me, it is anyway. Yeah, well, me too. So. If you guys not to mention, I just don't have time to screw with it anyway. So, yeah. what's that, Dan? If you guys make one mistake, you, you, can, get, you can get penalized. And exactly. In exactly. the long run, it's cheaper just to pay somebody that knows what they're doing. That's why I do it. It's just, it's just a pain in the rear end. Yeah, it really is. Well, it's not fair, first of all, but there's nothing you can do about it. You got to play that game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That game. And it's the same thing down here too, Jim. I mean, I know uh, you're in uh, Pennsylvania, right? Mm -hmm, 25 miles from Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah, and I'm down in South Louisiana. And guess what? That's a big distance, but it's the same bullshit. <laughs> it's just the same. Mm -hmm. It's nothing different. Well, it's really. worse up here though with the state and the local people. Yeah, if you have, yeah, when it gets down to a state issue, that probably vary a little bit. Uh, we've got a few pluses, you know, not so. Really do I venture to guess you're somewhere in the northeast corridor there, Jim? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm 25 miles northwest of Philadelphia, mm -hmm. about about halfway between Philadelphia and Reading. Yeah, I could hear it in your voice. Really? Okay. Well, I'm a retired truck driver, so you know. So you've been all over the area. Yeah, I, I drove a truck 30 years. Have you ever been? Well, Philly, forget that place. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, Chris, I'm going to Jim's house when I retire and go shoot some of the deer he's got up there. <laughs> he's got full of deer. Redding, Redding used to be not too bad, but. It, I don't know. Some of that shit drifts over from Ohio. We might not have any deer. Yeah, might not be nothing left. That that does concern. It does. You know, what I, you know what I foresee happening? When things green up in, in that area of Ohio, what if things don't green up? Then, then they're not going to be able to hide the problem. Well, the people over there are scared to death they're going to end up with cancer because the damn shit that they caught on fire was all carcinogens. Yeah. 
you figure that the whole area of all the states involved, that could be the size of Chernobyl. So, you know, fish and wildlife are, are already dying off. Right. One guy I saw on, I think it was Tucker, raises foxes. I didn't even know they had private fox farms. And most of his foxes were dying. It, it, oh, my gosh. That broke my heart. What was the biggest chemical release? Was it vinyl chloride? It was vinyl chloride. And there was a kennel in Pennsylvania where all the dogs died. Uh, vinyl chloride is bad news. We have yeah. a plant down here that makes it, too, and it scares me to death. Well, that's just one thing we deal with down here. You figure they use that in so many industries. It, it's the fact that they have to transport the liquid is the, is the whole right. issue. Uh, right. You got DuPont, you know, major DuPont manufacturing outlet, you know, like 60 miles from me. So, mm -hmm. and they don't have any idea. You figure that's going to flow into the Mississippi River. On one website, I was looking at a, at a map of that a few days ago, and you figure that's affected seven states so far. That's going to get into Lake Erie. Yeah. Not to mention what it's going to do when it gets down here, Jim. Yep. Going through the Mississippi now, I can River. tell you that the Mississippi River flows into the Atchafalaya Basin. Guess what's in the Atchafalaya Basin? Our crawfish industry. Shrimp it could, it could, it could complete Well, that's got to go a little further. But this is fresh water, I'm telling you. But it could absolutely ruin it if it's bad enough. Really, just, that'd be it. Done. Done. Well, like, well, we're, like, we're not going to know about that for a while because it's going to take a little time for it shit to drift down to you. So, Well, all we need is the ice to melt. And it's that shit start flowing, and here it comes. It's coming my way. You know, I think it was all done on purpose because of that Netflix movie that paralleled what would happen a year in advance. Yeah, I don't know. I think somebody had some, I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, I'm looking at it like this I'm figuring it's on purpose. Because, I mean, because they, they, they started they started with our food processing plants, burning them down, flying planes into them, shit like that. All right. Now, the, the this, the, 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 don't forget the baby. Yeah, formula. the baby formula. Set that up. And, 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 you know, it turns out that this derailment in Palestine, Ohio, isn't the first one involving a bunch of cars with carcinogens on them. Yep. It's the fifth one this year. Yeah, over twenty of them in the last two years. Mm -hmm. So you know, and then when you look at the controlling interest over Norfolk Southern, Black Rock Investments is one of them. Mm -hmm. Bingo. So you know, uh, and the thing, it the thing like a rocket scientist with a slide rule to figure this shit out. Be fair. Anyone that has any money and any stocks any mutual funds, if you have money in the bank, it doesn't matter. It's all connected. They're all connected. Like my wife's retirement, profit sharing at work, it's in, I think, some kind of John Hancock fund. It's still through Vanguard. To buy, the stuff with, like, buying and selling stocks, I have, it's through Vanguard. Retirement that my dad helped me set up when I was a young man, it's through Vanguard. And, and if you take it out of there, and you do the research, you're going to find that they're all connected. Actually, there's $93 trillion in debt against every financial institution in this country. And they're never, one of these days, everybody knows that everything's just going to collapse. Yeah, we, we ain't far from it now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, even though the stock market was up for a few days, it, it's down again today, and it's not going to stay up for very long. Because I, I heard that I had the rule in place, well, Larry Kudlow, who I like on the on Fox Business, he was saying the true inflation rate the past two years is really 13.5%. The inflation rate of food this past year is about 11.5%. Well, you know, I was talking to somebody just today, a younger person. She's a good friend of mine. And I was telling her about the days when Jimmy Carter was president because I remember all that shit back then. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and that that back then was bad, but, you know, uh, the only uh, only reason why it's not worse now is because there's still, there, there's still jobs if people want to get up off their lazy asses and go to work. But, you know, as far as inflationary, you know, as far as 
like for food and gas and stuff like that. It's a lot worse than it was back in. So we don't have the odd and even days yet. Like yeah, on the gas, I remember that too. Yeah, hey, you remember those days? Yeah, yeah I'm, I remember. In my, I'm in my sixties now. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I am too. So, yep, I figured. But so. the thing is, okay, there's a lot of people who've been laid off from big tech companies that got a severance pay, and they're not being included in the unemployment. Larry Kudlow was saying, I think I forget, it may have been January. We were told half a million new jobs were created. He said the. The statistics don't add up. It was only a hundred, like a little over a hundred thousand. All the look at it like this: when when T Man was president, the economy was so good they couldn't lie about jobs being created, the GDP, the inflation rate, the unemployment. But now all these people that gather these statistics and release it, they're all on the deep state side, right? So they're not giving us the accurate numbers. No, they're not going to either. You know, this, they're not going to, they're going to tell you to look here when you should be looking there. And the thing about it is, is they lie so much now, they're not even particular about the lies they tell anymore. So, yeah. so they don't even care whether, you know, to keep their story straight or not anymore. Uh, but, you know, there are weak minded people out here that actually believe that uh, the federal government's been shooting down UFOs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, hold on a minute. Uh, Gigi. Yeah, Chris, Gigi's in chat. She says, hey, Gigi, how you hey, doing, Craig? sweetie? Good to see you, Craig. What's up, friend? Craig? Made it home. Oh, yeah. How are y'all doing, you man? Craig? You feeling better, Craig? I heard much, you were Much better, brother. Thank you for asking, man. What did you what? have? Flow? No, I was having problems. Uh, diabetic issues, oh, man. Diabetic, okay. I'm better now, though, man. Well, that, that's good. At, le- oh, le- at least it wasn't. At least it wasn't some something due to the jab. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Who knows? It could be in our food supply for all we know. Uh, I figure that's coming next. And speaking, of, okay, I saw in the news now there is a dog flu influenza outbreak, and it, that's very rare. And and. The news said that it's very contagious. Well, you know, do yourself a favor. Stop listening to the mainstream media. Yep, that's one thing because they're they're, they're yep. full of shit. So you know, you're not going to get a even if you get a half truth, you're still not going to get a straight answer. Well, I have to take my dog to the vet Monday, and I just got her the bare minimal stuff like. If you board a dog, you got to get the Bortella vaccination yeah. to put it in a kennel. Yeah. And the vet I used, this guy died of, about over a decade ago. He was the best vet I ever had. Mm-hmm. He was saying, unless you're going to have a dog in the kennel, don't even get the vaccine. You don't need because it. Because there's side effects of it. You want to know the real truth? The rabies vaccine for the dogs? You don't need that either. If, you, if you've got an inside dog, why do you need it? And number two, in my state, and Creek may know this or not, but in my state, you have to get that every year, and the average rabies vaccine for pets lasts three years. But well, in Pennsylvania, mandated every year. And PA, you have to get it by state law. It's a law here too. Yeah. Well, thankfully, it's not one here. So. Well, I'm out yeah. of dogs, so I don't have to deal with that crap anymore. I, I got all kinds of dogs, man. So I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Ain't none of them got no damn rabies shots. Oh, I, I love my dogs. Yeah, I love my, I love mine too. I took great care of them, you know. And they were That's inside funny. dogs. Well, my dog's an outside dog. Like this time of the year, unless we're outside, she's in the house with me. But I spend more time with my pets than my wife. Yeah. Yeah, I was listening to y'all talking about the, uh, the, the thing about the ohio shit man uh mm-hmm. you guys are right on that man it and you know i'm a i'm very very big on fishing man and that's that's gonna hurt us down here if it if it does it work out down here it's gonna yeah 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 so see every mistake that's made up north we pay for down here yep well you know what they say shit rolls downhill so everybody if you look up in chat finding you know has put uh Gigi's chat or Gigi's channel and chat. 
Yeah, because I couldn't find Gigi's channel one day in my subscription. And I remember you she said that, that she took it down for a while. Yeah, she's got it back up. Okay. Wow, sweet. Hell oh, yeah. If you look in the chat, it's probably there, Jim. I hadn't All right, y'all. Well, uh, bad as I hate to say it, I'm going to have to go. All right, Chris. Good you to see you, man. It's good to see you, y'all. Dorinda, I appreciate you having me up. Good night, Chris. It was good to see you. Nice meeting you, Bob. Jim, Craig, that was good. Yeah, I've seen you. I've talked to you before on Shane's. Yeah. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you. All right. See you, Chris. Have a good night. Good to see you, Chris. Hadn't seen him in a while. Well, you figure Ohio has an Amish population like Pennsylvania. And look at all the farm ground there. That could all be ruined permanently. Mm -hmm. You figure once that stuff gets in the soil, how are you going to get rid of it? Well, you have to remove it. You have to remove it. And you know how much that's going to cost? More than the land's worth. What are they going to do? Take all that ground and, and like just the wooded areas? They're never going to get rid of that junk. No, it's ruined. I haven't looked at the long-term effects of it, so I'm not sure. But uh, I, there's some real. I mean, we're a petrochemical industry down here, Jim. Oh, we know, have yeah. chemical plants every freaking where. And there's friends of ours. There's friends of mine that, that retired. All I got to do is go talk to one of them about those chemical spills and they'll tell me they'll, they'll, they'll they already know they'll 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 tell you you know just how screwed they'll tell you the truth because they know the facts of all those chemicals well look at it like this the Susquehanna River is between me and that part of Pennsylvania so that's that's a buffer except for how much of this is going to get airborne yeah see I don't know how I don't know how, how they that stuff. I see. I don't know all the specifics of it. I'm well aware of vinyl chloride. I mean, you can come down here and I can show you a thousand tank cars full of it every day, coming out of certain plants here. Every I can show you all you want to see, uh, nope. but I'm not sure the specifics on it. Now I damn sure wouldn't take anything that the media is saying and go with that. You need to go to the source, find these engineers, find these plant workers who really know what that is, and they'll tell you. They'll tell you the truth. Yeah, that, that's used to make like rubber coatings for mm -hmm. like wire, like everything, PVC pipes. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad stuff. It's like we can't live without it with our current, with with with, with the society we live in. Because it's used in so many, you figure when that's used or combined with another chemical, it's basically an inert substance. Mm -hmm. When it's in its liquid gaseous form, is when it's dangerous. Yes. Yeah, we've got some bad stuff down here that's actually worse than vinyl chloride, <laughs> like way worse. Well, then well, you that don't was, even sniff it. Well, well, the first that was when that was first created. The use for that was gas like mustard gas more lethal mm -hmm. i had a buddy of mine man he worked in one of them damn caustic plants down here they say that caustic is bad shit yeah if it gets on you i used to uh when i used to build scaffolding back in the 80s i used to be a scaffold builder and uh we'd go to these uh paper mills and there's that that stuff's everywhere and uh they'd have a spill and all our scaffolding would just be Sitting in it, we'd never touch it. I did. You just bought it. <laughs> you just yeah. bought it. We wouldn't touch it. They say that's some bad shit. It is some bad some shit. Well, the other thing is, you know, we have Exxon Chemical down here, and that's one of the largest gasoline plants in the world. And, uh, you know, there's a big problem with that because it's the benzene. Benzene is big time cancer causing agent. And, uh, but luckily, we hadn't had too many issues with that, you know in a while well not too far about maybe eight miles from me there's a factory that makes brake pads and they use cashew oil in it mm -hmm. and i know some guys that work there and i'm not sure if they use the vinyl chloride or not but when they work inside this factory the suits they wear are basically toxic waste suits yeah with respirators yeah. because that stuff is so so dangerous you know 
um, I have a mechanic background. That's really one of the only degrees I, that I actually own <laughs> and I never really use. But back in the day when I when I was mechanic and uh, we did brake jobs, we didn't wear gloves. That's got, more. That's more. That's more of what I know of. Yeah, we got that brake dust and stuff all over his head. To, you know, wipe eyes. We, you know, we didn't care. And nowadays, go to any mechanic shop. It's worth its weight, and they all have those uh, those gloves on now. Them black nitro, nit nitro gloves. Yep, those nitro gloves. They have those on uh, because you don't need to be getting that stuff on you. You know what else is bad for you? Used motor oil should not get that on you. Should not. We figured that there's fragments of brake pads on all the roads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. But I'm just saying, I've got, you know, I've done that, that kind of stuff all my life, man. And I mean, I got cancer, but it wasn't caused by that. <laughs> you know, I just, they just said, in that sense. They, they said there's heavy metals and used motor oil. Yes. Yeah, oh, there's I, heavy metals now in dark chocolate. Did you see that one? No, I didn't see that. Heavy metals in dark chocolate. So this Valentine's Day, I made sure I bought my wife the regular chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Then they were yeah, saying the dark the food too. Then they were saying the dark chocolate was better for you than the milk chocolate. Well, I think it is, but not when they put in heavy metals in it, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What the fuck are they doing? Well, now? Of, that makes no sense. Yeah, that's crazy. How would they? How would there be heavy doing? metals in chocolate? That story is out there. Go look it up. Uh, it was on our local news, uh, Creek, on Channel Nine the other night. I wonder if it's coming from the metal containers that the chocolate's made in. It could be. About a decade ago, we had a problem with our refrigerator leaking water, and it was it had to do with something being clogged. And we had a guy come out because it was a new refrigerator. And he looked in the ice cube, the, the the ice maker, and he took the thing out. He said, you can't use this anymore. And I said, why? He said, the Teflon's coming off. Yeah. Those ice makers, they're, they're convenient, but forget it. Instead of having the ice maker, right. we just make ice the old-fashioned way. Well, don't you guys have the Hershey plant up there where you are, Jim? It's not near me, exactly. It's like, um, it's Hershey PA. It's between here and... Lancaster. I got you. It's a it's west. I was there on a class trip, I think, in elementary school. Right. When you get to that place, the smell you can smell the chocolate. Really? That's how that strong the odor is. And and actually, that Hershey bought farm ground. It was all farm ground, just so he would have access to cows. I mean, he basically built it, started a town. At, in the middle of a farm, mm -hmm. a farm ground. Right. And, and he found out by accident that sour milk, that's the secret of dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can go, uh, a simple Google search will show you that uh, that story on the uh, dark chocolate. Um, yeah. I'll be right back. It's a head shaker for sure. Oh, I, I eat almost any kind of chocolate. My wife loves chocolate. Uh, yeah, I eat a little bit of it myself. Well, she bought me some for Valentine's Day. I've got, what are these? Some little Hershey's right here. Some little Hershey nuggets. It's not yeah, dark. Watch, watch, John, watch the, the Hershey Kisses with almonds. I made a mistake trying those once. They have a whole almond in them instead of pieces like the bar. Right. And those things can break your teeth. Yeah, I know. I've. I love them though. So yeah, but but you're right. If you you better be careful how you bite down on. Yeah, I I've spent a lot the past year in my mouth. What are you gonna do? Right. Yeah, crease squad. Take care of your teeth. Yeah, diabetes kind of done fucked that up for me, buddy. Yeah, that's a bad bad news, man. That's some bad stuff. Well, I had to get a lithium disilicate bridge where a tooth broke right after Thanksgiving. And this was put in two weeks ago. And it, it's going to take a few more weeks. It's still, I have, if I bite down too hard, the pain, because I got to, the, the dentist had to grind, grind down two teeth. You figure mm -hmm. a bridge is like a crown for more than one tooth. Nice. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? We need our teeth to chew. Yeah, you got to have teeth. You got to eat. Unless you love oatmeal. <laughs> 
and grits. My grits. I love some grits, brother. <laughs> yeah, but that would get old. Look, man, you're talking to somebody who for, what, uh, five and a half months ate scrambled eggs every day? Every day for all my meals because that's all I could eat. Okay, so, yeah. After a while, even grits would be, yeah, you'd get tired of it, you know, after a while. Well, so, I've been eating more cashews and a few less peanuts. Right. Um, I never got into cashews. I'm glad I didn't because uh, those things are addictive. Joe I did go through the sunflower deal. Why motor oil is bad to get on you, John. What's that? Josie wants to know why it is used motor oil bad because it has carcinogens in it, Joe, that will cause cancer. Uh, and it's not it's not necessarily that it's getting on you. If you have a cut on your skin a hangnail or a, an open wound of any kind and you get that oil in there. Yeah. There's a lot of stories out on that right now. And, uh, a lot of the, uh, like almost all the mechanics nowadays, they all wear the, uh, they all wear the rubber gloves now for that reason. Yeah. I wear leather gloves. I'm always changing oil on something mm -hmm. between Howard motivators, Billy goat outback two Kubotas. And those things need, I have these Howard Rotovators that walk behind rotary tellers. Right. It's supposed to change it. These one was made in 1968. One was made in 1973. One has a Wisconsin engine on it. One has a color engine. Motor. That's a good one. You're supposed to change the oil on those things every 30 hours. Yeah. And the Kubota is like every hundred hours. Hundred hours and, on Kubota is right. Yeah. And the transmission flow at like 300 hours on the one model. Uh the hydraulic, I mean, uh, is it like zero turn or is it? Well, no, it, 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 I have two Kubota. They're now, they're the um, the side by sides. The side by sides. No, the, these tractors, John, are only thirty-five point four inches wide. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about now. They're the, about the, orange ones, the orange ones. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Because I, I grow the trees, the spacing like five and a half, five foot, seven and a half inches apart. Because I use a plant line to measure these when I started the property. So. If I would use a machine like a John Deere 45 inches wide, I would be destroying the branches on the trees. Yeah, you'd be nine inches narrower makes such a big difference. Mm -hmm. I get it. And, and you figure the, the Super UD2 transmission float on the Kubota, that's really a 10W30 murder oil with additives. Hmm. It's actually different. It's actually different than what John Deere uses. And it's not synthetic. And it's uh, for John, John Deere is uh, what motors on the John Deere? It's a Yanmar, isn't it? Yeah. Some of those are made in Japan. I think they all yeah, are. The some smaller of them ones. I think they have a factory here, though. I don't know. It's been a while since. Well, I actually, the little some of the John Deere rotting mowers now are made in China. The little mm -hmm. ones, mm -hmm. they're compact tractors. I forget what you don't get a, a, a US. The, the Onmar motors are really good. I know people. They They're very good. Engines. Right. Pardon me. They're the Yanmar's very good engines. Yeah. They've been around a long time. But the, but the the big John Deere tractors that are like over sixty hours. Those engines are made in the US. Mm -hmm. But you can't beat the Kubota because there's nobody else that makes an arrow tractor. Right. Because the model, the one model I got in 03 has over 4,000 hours on it now. Mm -hmm. Are they diesel? They're diesels? They're diesel, yeah. Yeah, three-cylinder diesel. Because mm -hmm. I, I have a um, B7500 TDN that's got a 1,001 cc um, engine. And then, I, then a couple of years ago, I got a, a new narrow one that's got a 1,101 cc engine. Now it's you use the front. front. You Army. use the front end loader part on for what yeah, you, you do. Get a loader right? for these. I use one with a brush hog, and I use the other one to pull a disc carrow. Okay, I got you. Because yeah. of what I'm doing, if somebody cuts a tree down, I mean, we got people buying huge trees like you wouldn't believe. Not as much as past year with the economy, mm -hmm. but if somebody cuts down a twelve or fourteen foot tall tree. And you just have them out of roots on the ground. If I would go through there with a the rotary tiller, I would destroy the tiller, hitting all these roots. All the roots, yeah. Yeah. I have a tiller, but I'd only use it on this Kubota. Actually, what I, 
it's a slow job, but I found I, I'll have lots of problems with erosion if I go through the ground with a disc harrow. Mm -hmm. If I can just cut into the soil, because it takes so long to, for stumps to rot up, the only cost-effective way would be to get a bulldozer to come in and push everything out. But because everybody, because we sell trees five foot sizes, 10, 12 foot sizes, mm -hmm. it's just simpler to wait for the stumps to run up enough so I can dig them out by hand. And if I go through the ground with a disc, it cuts into the soil enough so I have loose soil to work with. How many uh, trees do you have available every year for Christmas? Well, not as many this year between the deer, the droughts. I, I have about 12 acres here. Mm -hmm. We've had some years where we had good years where maybe we sold maybe 600, 700 trees. Wow. This past, Damn. This past, listen, it's a long story. I know of people in Pennsylvania, wholesale growers, that are doing like a quarter million trees in a year upstate. Can you imagine that? Yeah. yeah. They got like 20 guys that work full time. Wow. In the big states, there's seven families. In North Carolina, some of them sell over a million trees a year. Yeah. That's crazy. That, that, it is a big operation. That's really big. Fair. I'm just I'm just a little um mom and pop Christmas tree farm. Right. Well, you probably have some loyal customers that come to you every year, you know. So yeah, but the thing is we've had to raise prices a lot because of the cost of fuel and yeah, bigger people die every year. People are just cutting back. You have to. Yeah, I'm semi-retired. I'm semi, I'm semi -retired. I was partners with my sister, and I'm not doing that anymore. But when we were in our heyday, we were selling a lot of trees. But I had enough – my wife and I are thrifty. We had enough sense to, like, you know, save money for a rainy day. That's right. That's right. Hold on a minute, Jim. Okay, uh, Kim, good night. Uh, thanks for coming by. It's good to see you. Night, Kim. You figure around here – well, decades ago, most people around here still heat their house with um, fuel oil. I know a lot of people that have switched to natural gas. With fuel, even if fuel oil has gone down, it's about three fifty a gallon where I am because I get it from the least expensive place. Even though electric rates went up, but it, we're saving money heating our house compared to last year because we got two space heaters going. Mm -hmm. You figure last year fuel oil got to the highest around here was like five eighty five a gallon last February. That is pretty high. That is pretty. I know it's pretty high. Does anyone use uh, wood pellets up there? Is that a big thing up there for heat? I know if the manure guy that gives me all this manure. He has a farm he bought a few years ago, and he rents it out. And this is like a three thousand square foot house. And he said that the, the guy running the house is heating his whole house basically with two wood pellet stoves, and he's not spending more than about $1,300 a year. Right. Wow. That isn't bad at all. Now, right. we have a fireplace here that we've never used, and I would hate to have the dust in the house. My mm -hmm. wife and I, she doesn't want the dust from, you know, the fire. Right, right. Well, the first house we lived in, we heated the whole house with wood. Well, that's how we've always done it over here. We've, we've all either had a stove heater or we got an actual fireplace now, but uh, we've always used one of the old cast iron stove heaters. Mm -hmm. See, if we use the fireplace, then the other end of the house would be too cold. Right. Because there were days around here well, when we had that cold spell right after, like right before Christmas, it got down to close to zero around here. I am. Well, how cold does it get where you're at, Dorinda? Uh, huh. This year, not very cold. cold. Okay, this year is like a really weird fucking year. Yeah, we had the one cold spell. Now it's in the Nor 50s. Normally from December to February, we're minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's it. that you're you're We're like, at like thirty some freaking degrees or twenty seven tonight whatever that's still not very fucking cold. Yeah, that that's what Shift Kicker says. Like in in Minnesota where she's at, how cold it gets, or even up where um, Lake Ferry is up in upstate New York, mm -hmm. same thing. 
Believe me, I hate the summers around here, but it gets cold enough for me in the winter. Yeah, I couldn't deal with y'all's winters. No, I, could, I couldn't do it, John John. I couldn't do it. I'd my, uncle, be into me. my uncle lives in Iowa, dude, and I went down there one time, and that was all I needed. Yeah, we it's got brutal. the wind chill, too, so, yeah, I get it's colder. But Well, they laugh at us when we get to 30 degrees, you know. Oh, yeah. It's cold for us. I mean, you know, we're not used to that, so, yeah. Well, the, the local news around here, they keep making a big deal how you haven't had any snow and how it's so warm. Well, if the climate thing was really true, you'd think they'd be happy that we're not using all the fossil fuel. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Then you figure the Midwest is having some very cold weather. Yeah, they're getting hit pretty hard. Uh, Joe Bastardi, do you guys know who he is? He used to be on the Weather Channel. Uh -uh. Okay, we still have a Weather Channel, but it's not what it was. They have the AccuWeather Channel, and they're pretty lefty. All they do is talk about the climate. Well, on the Pennsylvania Channel that we got, I was shocked to see Joe Bastardi on there talking about what's going on in the environment and the climate. And he says most of the most of the United States is having below normal temperatures this winter. Mm -hmm. There's a little narrow area along the east coast where I am that goes all the way up to the part of New England near the coast and all the way down south that's having above normal temperatures. But then you go inland some areas and it's and it's way below normal. Right. Y'all should check Colorado. Colorado just had a lot of snow. Y'all should check out that guy. His name is Ryan Hall. Man, that dude. He, he, he he's, he's, a, he's a he's a um, he's a weather guy. Uh, but man, he he puts out some awesome information. Uh, you know, I I never was into you know sitting watching the news and the weather forecast, but uh, the way that this guy explains everything, it, it's it, he puts it in ways uh, you could understand it a lot better, and it's right. he puts out some awesome information. His name's Brian Hall. Yeah, I've seen his YouTube channel. I've heard of him. I had never watched him there. Oh man, he's awesome. Is he? I'm gonna check him out. He One thing right. I, I I think our cable provider Verizon got rid of like the regular old Weather Channel because they were telling the truth. Just like we lost one American news, if we if we lose Newsmax, I'm going to have a fit. Well, you have the other one. The one that I watch is uh, what is it called? Real Real America's Voice. What is that? We don't get that on TV. Oh, you get this if you. Well, do you have a streaming device that you can stream? Hang on, let me get my. I've never done any streaming at all. Well, I mean, you're streaming right now. <laughs> you can yeah, but I mean, I don't have a streaming service. Um, that's separate. Real America's. I'm gonna tell you. Hold on. Draw the blank. Josie, you're in New York, ain't you? I'm not sure where Josie is. I want to, I want to tell Kisloff. Look up American Fuels and Schwanksville, PA. They have their price on the internet. It's three fifty a gallon. They're run by Haynes and Kibblehouse. Their price is about 50 cents a gallon cheaper than anyone because they sell a lot of um, a, a lot of diesel fuel to truckers, too. There's guys that go there and load up their big rigs instead of going to the gas station. Yeah, real real America's voice. I'm sorry, Jim. Didn't mean to step on you. Yeah, kiss off. Look, look up um, American Fuels and Shrinksville, PA. Yeah, that's what it is. All for all for his kingdom. It's Ryan Ryan Hall, y'all. That's what it's what it's what it's called. And actually, if it's eight hundred dollars for two hundred fifty gallons, that's a little only over three dollars a tank. There's places around here where it's four fifty a gallon. Like last week, there was one guy around here, gone John Kuchera, down in Norristown and Pav Fuels. They were charging like close to four fifty a gallon for these for um fuel oil. Wow, and I, and it's been a few months, but people in California, real America's voice. Okay, people in California pay about a, a dollar a gallon more for fuel oil being on the West Coast than they do on the East Coast. Do they? 
Yeah, California, Washington, Oregon State. Okay, yeah, Joe C's in New York, right out of outside of Buffalo. Well, Kisloff, she says I'm full of it. Look it up. You figure I could show you Kisloff if I had a wrench. I got neighbors that pay twenty five thousand dollars a year in school taxes around here. I mean, I'm surrounded by homes around here that cost eight hundred fifty. I got a we have a house in a state next to us that's ten thousand square feet. And I've had this disagreement with Kisloff before. Look it up. Look look up 1075 North Grange Avenue. That's the property next to me. Because I don't care if anybody knows where I'm at because i got a website. But if you look up American Fuels, it's 350 a gallon for fuel oil. Right now? Yeah, it's in Schwenksville, PA. American Fuels. Back when we got fuel oil delivered in September, it was 449 Hmm. And I know where some people that live like Lake Ferry, I think her and her husband had to pay a little bit more than we did in September for fuel oil. Then it went down to like 376 when I got it a few a few weeks ago. Then it went up to about 420. But today it's 350 last I look. Kiss off. Settle down, please. Settle down, please. I'm not here for bullshit. Because I've shared them on somebody else's channel, links to websites. I mean, people don't realize around here, Kiss Off, there's townhomes on Germantown Pike next to Superior Tube that are like four and a half thousand square feet that go for half a million dollars, townhomes, with like $500 a month association dues. Can you believe that? People are spending 6000 a year on their association dues. Yeah, we got places like that. <laughs> That's, hey, Jim, that's my kind of people I like to do business with because they pay on time and they never late and they pay good. <laughs> well, we, we got to laugh when we get ads in the mail from people like, you know, lawn services. It's like all they do is mow or till ground. And most of the people that have these million dollar homes up the road from us that are like four and a half thousand square feet, they have about an acre and a half. It's, they keep the landscape people employed. And most of the guys working working for them they don't even speak english this past fall in november i let a landscape guy come here and dump um i guess they're 12 and a half cubic yard there's leaf their box trucks john with the leaves in them mm -hmm. and those guys couldn't even speak english um i use google translate to write down stuff because when i had them when they were dumping the leaves, I wanted them to tailgate it like the manure guy does. And they didn't understand what I was saying. So I, I wrote down everything on a piece of paper. Then after they wrote that, they tailgated the leaves. Because I got about 100, I must have got about 100 yards of leaves. Wow. Hmm. Hey, John, John, whenever you said that, man, it made, it kind of, you kind of made me think of Smokey and the Bandit. You know, <laughs> they, when they pay good, you know what I'm saying? Whenever they, uh, whenever uh, old boy wants him to haul that load for him, him and uh, yep. him yep. And old snowman, yeah, haul that beer, yeah. Well, kiss off, I am in Pennsylvania, and you don't know what it's like to live around here. Actually, I know our governor, I met the guy when he was a county commissioner in 2010. The guy's a piece of work, Josh Shapiro. Montgomery County has three county commissioners. There's always one Republican and two Democrat. And the Hilton Hotel in Culpsville, every year, I don't go to them anymore, they would have one of these meetings to save farming. And I remember one year he was there and um, uh, what's his name? The guy, um, I'm trying to think of the attorney, the one that represented Trump, a former commissioner. They have a meeting with people from the PA Department of Agriculture, you know, the Penn State Cooperative Extension. And Josh Shapiro's whole thing was, you know, what kind of effect farming is going to have on the environment. And you figure the number one revenue in Pennsylvania is still from farming. Mm -hmm. Well, that's on my bucket list to go up there one day when we retire, go see a little bit of the country. I hadn't been up to that. I drove trucks over the road for a while, but I never went up that far. Yeah, I'm not in Philly, Kessel. I'm 25 miles from Philly. 
completely different. You figure there's still some forms out here. In my area, most of the farmers, you know what they did? They sold their development rights. Mm -hmm. Just so they could um, have the cash. And the thing is, even after they sold their development rights, a lot of these people, they decided to sell the properties. And I didn't think they would get much for them. And I was shocked because one of our competitors sold their farm a few years ago, Warner Street Farm. They right. stole the Facebook page. And they got $6 million for 110 acres. And they sold it to another business that's going to grow trees. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking you know, of shutting this down tonight. I hope everybody had a great night. Uh, hope to see you again. I'm not sure yep. when I'm going on again, but we'll figure it out as I go. Um, thank, well, thank you, you tonight. Pardon? Thank you, Dorinda. It was great tonight. Okay, yeah, thanks for having me. John John and Creek, please stay. Um, everybody else have a great night, and we'll see you yep. soon. Love you and all. Jim, it's good to see you again. Take care. Yeah, you, you too. Have a good night. Right, night, 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 Thank you. Night, everybody. Night, night, y'all. Yeah, someone wants to look at my YouTube channel. They can see the tree farm and all my equipment. Okay. I'm, I'm going to check it out. Okay. Sorry about that. So, no problem. <laughs> oh, it's all good, man. Hmm.